Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So since it's the start of a new week, it's time for yet another Nitro setup video. Now I think last week I went into my equipment and my gear in detail, so I guess I'll skip that portion for this specific video. Um, what's important to note is I really haven't done any upgrades. That's why I in fact have 7 million gold as a result. The reason for this is because I have been collecting a lot of new SSRs over the course of last week, but I don't have the guild medals to upgrade them properly because I'm currently saving up all my guild medals so that I can first purchase this rune stone and second get enough materials so that I can do a double class mastery on one of my characters. And the character I'm thinking of right now is probably Ultimate Muller because I find I'm desperately in need of a good flyer. So I, since I have two rune stones, I might as well get the double class master on Ultimate Muller now. It's not so. What this really means is I'm going to suffer some more for PvP, right? But since Zerida is not even five stars yet, there's no real point in double class mastery on Zerida just yet. So. My goal, get double class mastery on Ultimate Muller, and probably next week, I'll double class master Zerida. Probably. It is, to be fair, it is hard to say whether it's, I'm better off doing double class mastery on Ultimate Muller or double class mastery on Cherry, in fact. And the reason I'm struggling between the choice of Ultimate Muller or Cherry is because of Zerida. Zerida's Meteor Faction buff would benefit Cherry, right? So since I am in need of a second flyer, it's kind of a tough decision. So we'll see. I'm still gathering materials and I'll do the upgrade this week. I just don't know. <laughs> need to choose one, Cherry or Ultimate Muller. I just have not decided on which one to do. In any case, that's my current status. In terms of farming for shards, I'm currently doing a very weird amount. There's three on Zerida, which makes sense. There's three on Landius, which also makes sense, right? Because Landius is the PvP tank. So I might as well get, you know, Zerida and Landius fully upgraded. But then the last three is what I'm kind of torn on. Right now, I'm doing two on Angelina and then one on Tiaris. So it's kind of a weird split. The reason it's two and one is because on Angelina, I actually don't have access to her last bond, which is upgraded from Shafaniel. So since I don't have Shafaniel, I can't upgrade to her last bond. So given that's the case, I haven't even bothered to get Brave Princess yet. So I'm just doing two shards on Angelina and then one shard on Tiaris to slowly bring Tiaris up to five stars. So since there's no, no one else that I'm particularly focused on right now, that's my current split. You know, I could even put that last shard in uh, Shuri to get her up to five stars, but you know, it's really kind of a hard decision. Uh, my focus right now, I guess, I'm not going to be optimized at all for, end for Summit Arena. That's what's going to end up happening because of my uh, runestone usage, but so be it, you know. Basically, there's a lot of flyers I want, right? If I decide to go for Ultimate Muller as going for the strategist route, then I would probably choose to upgrade Luna, right? Because Luna as a strategist is great. She can then use Wind Spiral, Raging Thunder, and then her last skill can be Gale or Move Again or Wind Pressure. So this is like a high extremely high damage luna assuming you get her double class mastery um alternatively as i said if i go zerida for the meteor faction then you would probably want to use zerida right juggler angelina die heart or d hearto whatever you yeah. know and then maybe uh shuri so Quite interesting. Or you can use these four, right? Die Hard, Zerida, Juggler, Angelina, and then throw in, let's say, Leon for your fifth. So there's 
options if you do the Meteor Faction for PvP. Of course, my Die Heart is a 3 stars with 0 shards, so kind of limiting in that sense. But in any case, that's my current status in shard farming and whatnot. Um, I think my priority is to continue to focus on PvE content first. And because, especially since I hear that there will be level 70 dragons coming soon. So, priorities. In any case, once I get all that finished, I'm going to finally start focusing on my PvP characters, like Zerida and whatnot. I am doing shards for them, I just have not done their double class masteries just yet. So that's my status. Um, gear wise, as I said, I haven't done any upgrades. Training wise, well, I've run into a big problem with my training grounds. And the problem is, believe it or not, a lack of barbells. Because last week, uh, I don't know if you guys recall, but I said I decided to focus on farming Aniki Jones, right? Uh, for Monday, for, uh, and then I focused on the Flyer and Aquatic training ground, which is Aniki Rocky. And then for the last one, I did Holy and Demon training. All three of these training grounds, or the, I should say, all three of the Anakis of these fights do not give barbells. Barbells actually come from Adon and from Valin. So the fact that I'm not doing either one of them is now crushing my ability to upgrade my training ground. Because all my upgrades now pretty much need barbells. So I'm not sure what the solution is because the flip side is for the SSR materials, I have a dire need for burning scraps right now. A dire need for them. Um, you know, dark chains are nice to have, but I don't really need them as much as the burning scraps. So I haven't really decided whether to focus on finishing up my SR upgrades or to focus on my SSR items. Right? Specifically for the dire need for the burning straps is because first I want to finish up zealots, which need burning straps. I want to also upgrade my sorceress, which also need burning straps, right? Hellfire archers are upgraded, they don't use burning straps, but even the shrine maidens need burning straps as well. So there's a lot of need for burning straps right now, and I think I'd rather focus on that than on the SR upgrades. So that's why I have not been able to do any real upgrades this week in the training ground, which is why I also have so much gold. Um, I'm just taking a look to see if there is anything I can upgrade. I could do this one, right? I could bring my phallus up to level 10. But I don't know if I actually want to, because I think there's something else that needs those crazy shorts. I'm just taking a look right now. Of the units I use, is there anything else that needs the crazy shorts? Oh, I guess not. In that case, I might as well finish them off, right? So yeah, there we go. So, Phallix, level 10. One big upgrade done. Other than that, I might as well continue to slowly upgrade my flyer training ground. So let's do that upgrade, and that uses up all of my barbells. So continue to be limited by barbells. But that's okay. Upgrades are steadily... I'm starting to get close to max on my flyer training ground in terms of the 14-14-14 sp split. The, although, again, the barbells is the limitation. So, we'll see. I'm going to get, get as just like with the infantry training ground, my priority is to get 14, 14, 14 first before finishing up the advanced training ground techs. So, that's my upgrades are rapidly nearing completion in many ways.
So that's training ground. That is my hero status, really. Um, the equipment has not changed. And finally, bonds, I suppose. Elwyn is maxed out, more or less, in terms of attack value, anyways. Right? Defense, I haven't touched yet. Oh, I should mention as well. Due to the missions, those challenges, for completing, uh, you know, the Eternal Temples, level 55, level 60, and then level 65, I have not been doing higher level Eternal Temples. I've been clearing out the level 55 versions last week, then the level 60s, and then finally I'll do the level 65 again once I reach that challenge level. So Valkyrie, I have to do level 60 today, <laughs> for example. So I'm just focusing on clearing out these missions. The reason is because first, I could use the Trinity Crystals. I'm pretty desperate for them. And second, I could use the the exploding heart keys, bursting heart keys, sorry, from when you complete the Eternal Temple values. So that's why I've been going back to doing the older missions in, uh, for Eternal Temple instead. So because of that, I've not been doing any bond upgrades either, as a result, right? So, just saving up hard keys for now, because the only two fights I have left for Eternal Temple to clear is Phoenix 65 and Scylla 65. But going back to the challenge, I'm going to start trying Scylla 65 this week. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Phoenix 65 though, actually I already cleared Phoenix 65. Sorry, let me take that back. I've already cleared Phoenix 65. So it is only Scylla 65 left. Which means when the Scylla fight comes this week, which is Wednesday, I think? Let's see, Wednesday, yeah. That's when I'll use up all of my remaining Birthing heart keys to upgrade my characters. And the most likely character I'll upgrade is either Matthew or Hein. So I can do an upgrade now. So let's just up increase Hein's attack value. So there we go, just one upgrade. I can also sweep this map once for the materials. There we go. So that tomorrow I can do, or on Wednesday I can do another upgrade for Hein's attack value. So Hein is rapidly hitting his maximum in terms of attack value. I don't bother upgrading the defense value on my character trait now because I don't use them for PvP and so their survivability is not really an issue. They just need to hit as hard as they possibly can. Alright, so that pretty much covers everything. I mean, I'm going to continue to sit on this gold for now because until I start seriously doing upgrades, there's no use for it. I mean, if I start enchanting, the gold is going to disappear, and I know that for a fact. So if you take a look at my enchant scrolls, I've been slowly accumulating a bunch of SSR scrolls right here, and I have, a, and I've been slowly also accumulating the SR scrolls as well. So once I start doing these enchants, they're going to disappear fast, because each enchant is 25k, right? If I use up, let's say, these 63 scrolls, multiply that by uh, 25,000, that's around 1.5 million gold right there, right? So if I use up all of these enchant scrolls right here, I'd probably be broke. So holding onto gold is not a bad thing um, when I don't have any dire need to do any upgrades right now. So that's my current status. Have not changed much, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And on that note, Nitro out.